I'm Kevin Beck from Lenovo for the Lenovo Social Team here at CES 2016 with Jeff Meredith from Lenovo and Johnny Lee from Google to talk about the Project Tango announcement that we just made. I'm going to start with you, Johnny. Sure. Elevator pitch, 30 seconds. Tell me what Project Tango is. So Project Tango is a, 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 is a technology that allows you to turn effectively your smartphone into something like a magic lens right. that lets you see you know, digital information placed onto the physical world. So that might mean you know, directions to uh, the nearest chocolate shop you're trying to get to. Uh, it might mean playing uh, laser tag with aliens that use your house as a room or you know, playing with virtual pets that aren't actually there. So basically everything that science fiction novels have promised we would have in 2016. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> getting, us, getting us closer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, every time we see like you know, robots or characters as like, right. understand like you know, what, I can just hand you something and it understands that, all of that perception is something that we take for granted. The position, the context, everything all together. Yeah, just this basic concept of space. Awesome. Right. So, Jeff, tell me what Lenovo's part in all this is. So, uh, you know, Kevin, at, at Lenovo, you know, we like to be uh, first. Yeah. Uh, we really enjoy that, and we have a good history of that from a device uh, side. So, as we, uh, you know, about a year ago, started spending time with Google around Tango, it was very clear to myself and my team that we wanted to be first in terms of launching a Tango device. So right. this is what we're doing. Uh, we're we're going to be the very first uh, company to bring forth a, a Tango device. We're going to do it in the summer of 2016. Right. That is awesome. So we saw a lot of pretty cool demos that really showed like the spatial integration uh, capabilities of you know where you spin it around. What part of that, uh, I think you guys said you've been in development this for three years. You know, So pointing it at one place and having it recognize one thing is probably not that difficult. What was the hardest part of kind of integrating the whole thing over the last three years? Yeah, well, a lot of it was taking things that were traditionally academic research. Uh -huh. So they had proof of concepts that this was possible, largely yeah. from robotics, actually. Right. But to actually make it a consumer product, you have to reduce the size of the components. You have to use cameras that have really small lenses, right. and, you know, integrate depth sensing, mm -hmm. something that isn't this big, giant rig that takes you know, 10 watts of power, but right. actually something that would fit in a mobile phone. Right. So a lot of it was, does do mobile phone class components actually work? And then secondly, can we make our tracking algorithms robust enough for consumers? Um, there's a lot of uh, computer vision demos you see on phones where you really you have to know how to hold the phone to make right. it work. There's, there's essentially a trick to it. Is what yeah, it's like right. getting it to work as part of the game. Yeah. Uh, but what we really want to do is make sure that you know anyone picks it up, yeah. they can just point it anywhere in the room and uh, it will track and it will work. And that requires a, a different set of algorithms than traditionally being used. And I know our team, Jeff, had some uh, significant hardware challenges in taking that hardware and turning it around and making it all fit into something that you'll actually be able to carry in your pocket, right? Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I think the enabling technology for Tango um, has multiple components from a, I mean, an imaging perspective. Right. And you know, there's been a lot of work in, in trying to come up with uh, the right approach to manage, you know, the depth sensing, uh, the wide angle, and, and just your standard RGB camera, and put that in a, con a construct hardware a model that made a lot of sense. All right. So there must have been some point when we were, you were looking at all these demos throughout time. What was the, the first moment where you just really said, oh wow, this, <laughs> this, this, this works, oh yeah. my god, this works. You know, what was that moment? Yeah, I think like the, the time that really got like the biggest smile on my face yeah. is when we actually got a lot of the tech and a lot of the sensor data and mm -hmm. tracking data yeah. into a game yeah. engine like yeah. Unity. And that's the first time where you can add physics and add yeah. collisions and things like that. And all we had was a very simple, you know, toss a ball and have yeah. it bounce off of things uh, tech demo. But what was interesting is that like, it was the first time we would actually throw a ball and it hit a table and then roll off the side of the table. Uh, and we once we realized that, oh, we could actually create a new level just by stacking cardboard boxes in this space. So we actually spent that night like duct taping blankets up on the wall and almost like you know it was like it was childhood you could like yeah. build a fort in your living room and it actually really worked in the game that and is awesome having the awesome. characters is like that yeah. that was that was really fun and i bet we've had a moment like that in hardware where, where you saw that thing running on the lenovo hardware for the first time yeah yeah <laughs> most certainly i mean i think that you know with tango the thing that uh, really is exciting is 
uh, all you know the, the different applications and the array of applications right. that you yes. can actually do. And you know, one of the things that mm -hmm. you know we've talked about uh, even today with some of the press is it has broad appeal to an mm -hmm. array of different uh, you know demographics or right. people coming from different perspectives. So you know whether you're you know. Uh, female that loves to shop, so you yeah. can really enhance that. Right. Uh, you're a kid that loves to game, you can have an unbelievable experience. Uh, even you know a dad like me who wants to make sure that uh, you can lay out uh, and do some home improvement work without you know wasting a lot of time bringing things home that don't fit yeah. in the room or actually your wife rejects um, after you bring them home. Yeah. I think the, the really compelling part, so yeah. as we put it in, you know, started to look at it from a hardware yeah. perspective, I think everybody's found the thing that they love the best yeah. uh, about yeah. it, which which really is exciting for us. Well, and I think to me, when I first started looking at it, um, you know, I knew what the technical capabilities were, distance sensing, integration, positional, but when you, when you see it work, that's really where your mind starts to open up, right? You get the foundation done, and then you start to look at, oh my God, this is what I can do, and I can do this, and the ideas start occurring to you. And it sounds like we've got a pretty robust system of, uh, or ecosystem of apps in place already to start kind of hibernating those ideas. Right? But we're also asking folks to contribute, for de or developers to contribute to even more ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hardware is fun, but yeah. without apps and, and software, it, yeah. it, 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 it doesn't provide as much value. So we definitely have a few, like, dozen or so partners mm -hmm. that we're closely working with already that right. we demo. But we want to have more. Like, we, like, the more investment we can do and develop applications yeah. with partners, the more value we can ultimately give to someone who ever buys the device. Right. And when and they turn it on for the first time, the more uh, rich applications we have, every one of us. So Jeff, Lenovo has a part to play in that as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think as we uh, look at um, the future and, and the apps that we'll see in the next several months, we're definitely going to select those that are uh, most compelling and ensure that those are preloaded on our hardware and as well featured in all of our communication. Awesome. Awesome. Any, uh, any last words to bring home for the audience, John? The future is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My personal favorite quote of that, the future is here, but it's just not evenly distributed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, with, with partners like Bonobo who can actually make devices, we can more evenly distribute. We're getting there. Jeff? You know, I think the thing that I'd like to leave with and, and the thing that I use to communicate mm -hmm. uh, Tango, you know, we have context of space, mm -hmm. the three of us. We're, uh, sitting next to each other, Johnny's on my right, you're directly in front of me. Our devices have no context of space, no understanding of space. So when you give your device that capability and then think about, uh, you've now established a clear understanding of the physical, um, now you can inject um, the digital on top of that. And I think that um, just it blows your mind uh, yeah. Yeah. in terms of the capabilities that that enables. The fun really starts now. Yeah, it's really cool. Awesome. All right, well, thank you guys. I've been Kevin Beck. I am Kevin Beck. Yeah, you still <laughs> I have been. I still yeah, am. Yeah. I still am Kevin Beck. And you will uh, be. With yeah. Jeff Merritt and Johnny Lee with the Google and Lenovo Joint Project Tango announcement. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.